or go to math.com working some calculus we're looking at uh, limits and we're evaluating them numerically and this is the section right here that we are in and look at that 4.1 comes right up so we're looking at a trig function here we got the limit as x approaches 0 of sine x over x so hopefully you've looked at some of these other previous sections before you've gotten uh, gotten to this one because we're going to kind of skip some intermediate steps and uh, just kind of go right on into this one here. All right, so let's get busy. We'll move over to the whiteboard. All right, we got the limit as x approaches zero of sine x over x. Now, when we ever get to this at some point in time in the next section, we're going to consider this to be a definition. Okay, We're going to consider this to be a definition of what this thing is going to be uh, equal to. So keep that in mind. And uh, this is how we're going to actually do this. Now, you need to be familiar with trig functions, I suppose. But uh, if you're an engineering student, um, you know, you definitely go over trig. If you're a business student, I think they skip the trig stuff, but trig functions. But anyway, but this is how we're going to do this. We're going to do this numerically to figure, find out what this is. And, and um, let me just write this. F of X is equal to, I know F's overrated. I don't know who got that started. Label in our function. I guess F stand, F's first letter in function. I don't know. Um, and of course, you know, this, this could be asked, uh, just like this, it could be asked, you know, find the limit of f x, x approaches zero, and then define f x up here if we wanted to. But we go ahead and write it all in, in, in one single form here. Um, and this is what we're going to do, right? To figure out what this is, we do this numerically. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a negative point 0.1 and plug it into this guy. So we have sine of negative point one um, right over negative point one. And we get some number out. All right. And I'm not going to do that just right now. I've on on the web page uh, we've already we're already we've already done that but but anyway I'm just showing you what we're doing. Of course if you've looked at some of the other tutorials before you got to this one you should know what we're doing here by now negative point zero one and then get some number out right so if we were to look at a graph here just kind of we got zero here okay now the problem is we put what's sine of zero okay sine of zero is zero right and then, of course, plugging 0 in for x here, if we were doing this direct substitution, uh, we get 0 over 0, and therefore it's not defined. This function is not defined at 0. right? So we don't know what this y value is up here. We don't know where it crosses the y-axis. Where does it cross up here, right? Who knows? And uh, But what we could do is, is this numerically, and uh, plug numbers in, getting real close to zero from the left-hand side, and of course that's what I'm doing here. And then of course we do it coming in from the right-hand side, and we'll just kind of set that up. So point one, right, sine of point one over point one, and then we can do another one here. How about point zero one, getting closer, okay, sine Point zero one over um, point zero one. All right, and getting these get these numbers out, whatever they are, and um, and hopefully that these guys are both converging, coming in from the left, right? It's converging towards the same numbers coming in from the right hand side. Now let's go. Uh, let's just go over to the web page here and let's take a look at. Um, what these numbers actually are. All right. So when we plugged in negative 0.1 into it, we got 0 0.9983, and uh, plugging in 0 0.01, we 
So as we can kind of tell here, this thing looks like it's getting closer and closer to 1 as we approach uh, 0 from the left-hand side. And then, of course, coming in from the right-hand side, right, it's looking like it's approaching 1 also. It's looking like it's approaching 1 also. So coming in from the uh, left and the right, it's looking a lot like this graph is crossing right here at 1, okay? But this is, even though this is an open circle because it's undefined right here, all right? So, but it looks like, right, so this graph is doing something and then uh, and doing something there, and you got an open circle right there, okay? And uh, now, we're going to consider this to be a definition right here that, uh, and we're going to be using a lot of this later on in the story. All right, so let's move on to the next problem. And uh, don't forget where you are. Click the home button there. Or go to math.com. Come by and check us out. Bye.